So something that I see every single day in the Facebook groups is logos and uh, clipboard images like that that people want to have turned into SVGs. And it's obviously going to be a few different layers of color. So I picked this because it's four or five different colors, but it's still a pretty clean image. Um, what I do is go to Google and I typed in my Titans logo. And when I'm looking for something to trace, I try to find something that's going to be high res. You don't want a little thumbprint image that's going to be really, really small. Um, when I hover over them underneath them, you see the 560 by 397, 282 by 200. That's pretty small. This one is 1056 by 773. That's a pretty big image. That one should actually work. So I'm going to take that one. I'm going to save it as Tennessee Titans logo is fine. And then I go over to Inkscape. And I am going to bring that image in. And it looks pretty clean. It doesn't have all fuzzy edges and whatnot. So I think that we'll be okay with this. So the first thing we do is path, trace bitmap. You get this little pop-up screen. You can make this bigger if you want to see your image in a bigger place. See, now that's obviously not what we want. We want to do colors, take smooth off, add remove background. You don't want that solid white background. Now the number of scans, some people count how many colors they're going to have and just type it in there. I usually just kind of adjust down until I see in the little window there that I'm losing things that I need. See, here's five scans. I'm still pretty good. When I dropped to four, I lost the gray. So that's too little. So I'm going to leave it at five, see what happens, hit OK, and then we close this out. Now you can drag this top one off. And if you notice, the top one, I can see right through it. You can see that black line behind it. This is the original one. It's got this big solid white box around it. That's not what we want. We want the see-through one. So we're going to delete this one. Always make sure you're deleting the right one. I mean, you can just redo it, but no need to do any extra work. Just drag it over top of your, your black frame here and make sure you can see that through the white spaces. So now we have this. <clears throat> We're going to ungroup this first and see what it looks like. Click off of it somewhere. If you hit ungroup, it still doesn't look ungrouped because right now all the groups are selected. Click off of it and then back on it and you'll see the, the different layers. So this one has this light blue, it has this gray, this blue, and this red. And then the white is just empty space. I'm going to hit Control Z to undo all that to get it back where I want it. <clears throat> um, and if you notice the way those layers looked like this, I don't want to cut this much vinyl out of every color and just stack them all on top of each other. Some people like to do it that way. I personally don't. Um, Control Z to put it back. I am going to, being this outer color is the navy, I'm going to make a solid navy base and then just layer these other pieces on top of it. So the navy base I'll do last, but basically we're going to make these colored layers. So the easiest one in my opinion is going to be the red, so I'll do the red first. Click off of it so that nothing is highlighted. Hit your paint bucket. We'll do red. We can change the color later, it doesn't matter. And for some reason today my inkscape is doing this. It has a mind of its own, but that's okay. <laughs> um, if I just fill in all the red spots, even though they're turning gray when I didn't want them gray, now I go to my selector, hit shift and click on each of those ones that we just filled in. We have all six of them. We're going to control K to attach them to each other. And then I'm going to turn them red. And there's our red layer. We'll pull that off. Now this light blue layer, Again, make sure nothing is selected. Hit our paint bucket. I don't know why this will not let me <laughs> fill them in with the colors I want. But, okay, so here's going to be our light blue layer. I'm going to go find a better color for this. Maybe like that. And we're going to pull that one off. And then we need to do this white, which 
when I'm filling in a white layer, I don't fill it in with white because then I lose it on the screen and it's kind of a pain to find. So I just fill it in with any random color and then after I put it where I want it, I uh, turn it to white. Besides the fact that it looks like everything is gonna fill in gray today anyway. So I fill those in and go to my selector, shift, shift, and I have all three of them selected, control K. Just so I don't forget to turn this white later, I'm gonna make it a really outlandish color. That's gonna be our white layer. All right, and then we have this little gray layer in here, which is convenient because everything is filling in gray anyway. So there's our gray layer. And we'll pull that one off. And now all that we have left is this base blue that I was talking about. So all I'm gonna do is get rid of there. Oh, there's my blue. I'm gonna get rid of all these other layers. So I have this, but if I were to try to do it like this, I have to fill these in perfectly. And it's kind of hard when you're doing, if you're doing this out of like Oracle 651, it's hard to line them up exactly perfectly sometimes. So you, you want to have a nice solid color in the back. So what I'm going to do is take this piece, go to path, break apart. And that breaks all of those nodes inside apart and turns them all into one big object. But right now you can see there's there's probably 15 different objects in here. We obviously don't want that. Your machine will be cutting forever. So now we go to path, union. And now this is one piece. See the nodes are only on the outside. Your machine is just gonna cut around the outside. That's what we want. So you would lay this down when you're layering and then just layer these all on top of it. Um, so here's, I'm just gonna put these here first and then we'll fix them up a little. Let me get this one. See that rim around between the two blues? We kind of want that to be even-ish. That's our goal, so that's about close. And then this one's gonna go right inside there and then I'm gonna turn it white. And while it's selected, what you gotta do is click on the white. And then we have our gray piece. Goes right alongside it. And then we have our red piece. That's going to go about there. And there is your Titans logo. And now I would drag a box around all of those layers, control G to group them so they kind of stay put. And then file, save as. We want this a plain SVG. And we'll just save this as Titans. And now you would go into Design Space and upload this and cut it in. The red, you would cut a red layer, a light blue layer, a navy blue layer, a gray layer, and a white layer. And that is all there is to tracing an image. Hopefully this was helpful. Uh, if you have any other ideas for me, things you'd like to see videos of, just shoot me a message, wendye524 at gmail.com. And uh, thanks for watching. Appreciate it.